the guy that guarded me the, the best, they could slow me down, uh, was Dennis. Mm -hmm. He was bad, man. He was, Dennis was a machine. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kepp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man, Sean David. Hello and good day everyone, welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine, my name is Sean David, thanks for tuning in, let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, again I want to take a look at NBA legends giving their opinion about how good Dennis Rodman aka The Worm really was. And I know that there are a couple of videos already on YouTube, but I found some new clips that you probably haven't seen before. But before we dive into today's episode, let me ask you guys for a small favor, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and click the notifications button so you never miss an episode of the Basketball Time Machine. Alright, enough said, let's get right into it. Sorry guys, one more thing. I'm currently the executive producer of an amazing project, a documentary about the never-ending story called Life After the Never-Ending Story. Behind the scenes footage, exclusive interviews with crew members, the stars like the childlike empress, Atreyu, and everything you always wanted to know about that movie. We are currently on Kickstarter, so please support us, and especially Lisa Downs, the producer of this amazing piece of work. You can get so many exclusive thinks it's amazing. Check it out now. You know what, I, I think it was great for us. Um, that worked out two ways. We right. realized that Dennis was looking forward to rejuvenating his career and it was important for us to get back to being a championship team. So we all needed and wanted the same thing at the end, but what Dennis really brought to us as a team was his leadership, in his hard work. He Sacred. brought a lot of uh, <laughs> social media right to our face. Face quick. He was be viral before social media. Yes. That's right. He was right? definitely before his time. Who's back at wow. dunk. Holy mackerel. Blocked it. That's a highlight film. Believe me, that right there, that belongs in a highlight film. Worm. I think the worm just doesn't get a lot of credit for how smart he was, how good his basketball IQ was. You know, he did all the dirty work, you know, dove on the ground you know, took charges, got into people's heads, you know, frustrated them. But the worm had a very, very good IQ. And a lot of people really didn't know that about him. They just thought he was just a crazy man running around with, you know, all kind of colors in his head. But it was a reason why he fit in with Chicago was because of his IQ. Dennis Rodman didn't care about scoring the ball. You know, Dennis Rodman can go zero points, but 15 rebounds, uh, he take two charges, may get four or five assists, he impacted the game where it's not really in the stat sheets other than the rebound. And that's why he was so successful and for a guy to, to make it to the Hall of Fame, you know, and not being a scorer, like just a straight, deep, like I love playing defense. I'm going to lock you down tonight. That was Dennis Rodman. That's one of the greatest defensive players to ever play this game. That's a fierce competitor. Dennis wasn't much of a talker as, as much as he was like a pest. Would get, try to get in your head and do stuff to try to get you out of your game. That was his strong suit. All they're doing now is trying to mess with me, try to get in my head. But they don't understand, though. You can't mess with the master. You can't mess with the master. A versatile athlete and a savvy competitor Dennis Rodman dedicated himself to frustrating and disrupting the opposition. Dennis took the responsibility of guarding the other team's top scorer all the time, regardless of who he was. This is Jordan, the one and one now. Rodman won't give an inch. He is truly the only person I've ever known that could guard all five positions. And I don't mean just guard him a little bit, clamp down and shut down. In addition to his seven all-defensive first-team selections, Rodman also won seven straight rebounding titles, averaging a staggering 16.7 boards over that span. Quite a feat for a player not much bigger than a shooting guard. Most people think he's 6'9", 260, and Dennis was a, maybe a half an inch taller than me, a 6'6", 220, 
and he impacted the game a lot bigger. There's Dennis again. He doesn't even have to score a basket to turn a game around with his rebounding ability. You got to throw him in the category of some of the greats, like Bill Russell. Rebound, Rodman. He's unbelievable at that. Best in the league. Like a Will Chamberlain. Rodman's tap is rebound number 34. Because he used to dominate the game just on rebounds alone. Oh, the dandy rebound. That's when you talk to me every practice. Then it's, this all you got to do is just a triangle, this, this, this. And I picked it up pretty easy because I knew it, I didn't have to shoot the ball. I just got to get the rebound, play defense, and give it back to the people that need to score. The main thing I used to marvel how he would stand straight up. He showed no tennis in the butt that, you know, the, the basics guy, of defense and how you do it. Can slow me the down. guy could run all day. Dennis. He could run all day, man, in the game. He never got time. That's why he, he saw him machine, diving in his machine, man. He could guard anybody on the floor. floor. Uh, he had the psychological games you get in your head. Before the game, you give a dab. You squeeze my ass a little too. And after the game, you should ride it wasn't the like, bike. A, it wasn't he like, was let's go. It was quiet and shot. So now you think. He's just into basketball. I really want to play <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you running down the court pulling. thinking about you know, this motherfucker. Why he, he getting every fucking career, offensive so rebound? Still, I think one of the best rebounders and defensive players. Get physical and play, you know, and fly. He was right here, six seven, two hundred ten pounds of fury. Dennis, when you were nineteen, twenty years old, I bet you never thought that one day you would hang an NBA All Star jersey up on your wall. Not at all. I didn't expect to have anything on, hanging up on the wall. I know I wasn't there because I was a scoring machine. I was there because I worked my butt off. I didn't know it was going to be this. Not the way I am today. I always felt like you really cannot talk about the NBA from a historical perspective without talking about Dennis Rock. Because in my opinion, that's how much of an impact that he made, which is rare for someone with his notoriety that don't have no interest in scoring the basketball. And that's normally where you get most of your glory from is offensively. But he took pride on the defensive end. And that's six foot eight. I think he led the league in rebounding seven consecutive years and a heck of a defensive player also. There's no place to throw it. A team inside, shot short. The identity of the bruising Detroit Pistons teams that won back-to-back -back NBA titles in 1989 and 1990. Whenever we went on the floor and we were in deep championship playoff series, this guy would be in his own world about winning. Just about, you just saw it dripping off of him. You just saw in his face the passion he had for the game. I wanted this one so bad. Rodman's dedication and selfless team play were exactly what the once rival Chicago Bulls were looking for as they reloaded for their second three-peat run in the late 1990s. He definitely was a piece that we were needing at that time. Someone that could come in and bring some toughness, a good defender as well as a great rebounder. He brought all those tools to our team. He really put us at a point where we were dominant. I came in in 96, 97, 98, right during that championship run and, and played against them. And obviously we know how great the Bulls were and how dominant they were. And you understood why. Dennis Rodman's the best rebounder um, that I ever went against, the strongest guy I ever went against. Um, a guy who was virtually impossible for me to post up, um, just too strong. And I played against Dennis Rodman in the era where you can hand check. And that's the worst to be because that's where he's at his best because he's able to use his body and hand check and control you. I can't be like all the rest of these people here and try to be something that I'm not. What you see is what you get. If you don't like it, that's your tough luck, but uh, I'm just trying to go out there and play for the people, make people happy, that's it. Ever seen Dennis Rodman played, I had one of the best seats in the house because it was against my beloved Indiana Pacers. March 4th, 1992. We're an upstart young Indiana Pacers team. They were still the bad boys of the Central Division and of the Eastern Conference and champions and so forth. In Detroit, here we are trying to make a name for ourselves. And it was a pretty good game, but Dennis Rodman put on an absolute rebounding clinic. Top of the key, no. Rebound Rodman. Great pass by Worm. 
Again, Rotman keeping it alive. How many times does he get his hands on the basketball? His career high, 34 rebounds. 18 of them at the offensive end. We went down in overtime to the Pistons, but it was an unbelievable rebounding performance by the worm, the great one, Dennis Rodman. The guy that guarded me the, the best, they could slow me down, uh, was Dennis. Mm -hmm. He was bad, man. He was, Dennis was a machine. He was a machine, man. He could guard anybody on the floor. Uh, he had the psychological games. He'd get in your head. Before the game, you give it depth. He squeezed my ass a little too. <laughs> it wasn't like, what's up? It wasn't like, let's go. It was, I was, so now you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so how good was Dennis Rodman in my opinion? Well, I said it, I think, countless times on my show already. To me, Dennis Rodman is probably one of the best top three defenders of all time. This guy was a genius on the basketball court. Not only a great on-ball defender, a great help set defender, uh, great at boxing out, great in rebounding. The psychology of the game, this guy was super smart on court, was able to get players out of their game. So this guy definitely deserved to be in the top 75 and I was super happy for him because as I said, it was well deserved. All right, you guys, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications button. And hopefully, I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine.